hello and happy day 27 of Oso Your January. Um, so it's a Monday, so we're going to gather our thoughts and we're going to do some journaling. Um, we will start with just checking in. So we're going to check in with ourselves, um, checking in physically and emotionally. How do I feel emotionally? How do I feel physically? Um, with the physically, the physically can be, I don't know, maybe aches and pains, maybe you've got a an injury, um, or it could be things like checking in with reactions to what you're eating, um, maybe bowel movements, or just anything that's going on with you, maybe your periods, your cycle, so anything that's going on with you physically. So we're going to write, just check in how we're feeling, both on an emotional level and on a physical level. And we can all do that together. So hopefully you've had enough time to write those things down. If you haven't, pause the video or maybe come back afterwards. Um, I also like to check in spiritually. And when I say spiritually, I mean, am I aligned with what's important to me? <laughs> there goes the dog again. My dad's dog is here. Um, how are my relationships going? Things like that. So just just how is how is your life going? Are you aligned with your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs? Are your relationships going well? Those kind of things. So we could write down there. And once again, if you maybe pause the video to carry on or come back to it later. Um, and then we're going to go to our gratitude, which I do every time I journal, just write down three things that I'm grateful for. They can be anything, um, big things, small things. I always make sure I get some small things in. So just some really little things that, um, that I'm grateful for so that you can start to enjoy those, those small things in life and appreciate those small things in life. So if we write three things down that we are grateful for, just cultivate gratitude there. And then something that's a little bit different to um, what I've been speaking about before. I always write myself lists. Every single day I write a list. Usually I write one in the evening before I go to bed. And then I'll go and update it again in the morning. So I'll write the list for the, day, the following day. But I've got a little system. So um, I'll just show you here. So as you can see, a bullet point is a task. A crossed out bullet point is a task that's completed. If it's a little arrow, that's been migrated or moved across to the next day or another day. Um, a dash is just a um, note relating to one of the points or the tasks. And if there's a line through it, it's been cancelled, that's not no longer something that needs to be done. And then the asterisk is something that's important or a priority. So that just really helps me organise myself. I'll be in a minute. Um, that just really organize, helps my, me organise myself um, and also just to brain dump as well. So I'm constantly thinking, oh yeah, I must do this, I must do that, must do that. And my mind is constantly working. But when I get those things down onto paper, I just feel like I've just got so much more headspace and my mind is so much clearer. I'm not 
feeling anxious about forgetting to do something and it just it organizes me and keeps me in check and calm um, so and the way that I do that and you may not want to do it this way but I open my book up at the front and when I open the book up here I'll try to find the first page that's where I have my gratitude lists um, things like achievements and my thoughts gathering my thoughts and my emotions so more of your typical journaling and then when I turn my book over this is my lists so I start from the other end of the book and this is where I have my to-do lists so I use one side for my thoughts and I have my and I use the other side for my tasks so you may want to do it that way or you may want to combine the two that's just how I do it so I hope that helps to organise you and to let go of things that are going on in the head that are buzzing around and gives you a little bit more headspace, but also helps you to cultivate that gratitude um, and just make you feel better. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.